June of 1936, and we're going through some of our redesigns. We wanted to take a closer look at Allure because our Dove Industries, we have upgraded our motors. We went from a vehicle line that was borrowing motors from Allure motors to coming out with the 1937 and 1938 model years and those vehicles are going to have a w style motor configured based upon bore and stroke of the allure motor and took that and redesigned that motor so that therefore it could be more efficient we took some of the stress off of it by this being a newer design we weren't so sure about the durability of the motor. It took some of the stress off the motor because the Allure motors are highly advanced. They run a very high RPM. And so therefore with the W motors, we wanted to have a different type of driving experience for the Dove industry customers. And so we detuned some of the RPMs on the motor so that it could run a little smoother. We're also in the phase of looking at some prototypes. So we have a new automation design studio so that therefore we can do some testing. We weren't able to do before. We had to design a motor and then put a prototype of the vehicle together so that therefore we could get the full understanding of how this motor is going to work and whether or not if it's going to be durable or not. So what we ended up doing was expanding out and by expanding out, we have a new engine shop where our first motor that we are doing our testing on is our Allure Straight 6 Q9.1 motor, which is going to be going into our truck line, which is the Allure Flow. That's pretty important because the clientele for the Allure Flow is dedicated to seeing the advances of that truck line because that's not your standard truck. It's the first and only luxury performance truck. And we've been running this for a little while now. And our customer base has grown in that market, which is really important because when we were looking at the redesign of this vehicle, we started noticing how important that truck is. And we've taken it in a couple of different steps. First, we just spun it off from a design standpoint. And we pretty much took our Titan truck, designed three different or two different variants of that, the ETD, and we designed the Allure truck. The Allure truck, when it first came out, had the ETD suspension. And as time went on and as customers started purchasing that vehicle more and more, then we ended up taking that and designing a new suspension or a new platform for that truck, a more luxurious platform fitting for that truck, which further separated the flow from the ETD from the Titan. And from there, we also made sure that the transmission for the Allure vehicle line was durable enough to withstand the pulling power of the flow along with being luxurious enough and smooth enough for the allure vehicles so it was a balancing act and we're here and we're on the next plateau of allure redeveloping that brand because it 
was our one of our original brands and many other manufacturers started off from the Allure platform and even our Emerson Motors and Emerson Grande, everything except for the Emerson Electric. But majority of our vehicles started off from our Allure platform. And from there, we've blossomed out to have a top line roadster, a very luxurious sports truck, four different versions of our luxury sedan essence, a performance version and a standard version of our midsize cascade sedan and three different variants of our compact platform. So right now we're going to take you over to the design studio where we've already done some tinkering with the motor and we run a dyno on the motor and it roughly runs about 110 horsepower advertised and 156 foot pounds of torque advertised. Now of course the motor produces a lot more than that but with the final product we wanted to make sure that it was operating in a safe range so this is the way that the motor looks and this is our truck variant and of course it's painted in the same color as the standard design of the allure vehicles so it's a straight six motor and the single exhaust goes out and then it is it has a Y pipe at the end that will give an aesthetically pleasing quad exhaust tip. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a manual test. So as you can see, we're able to get up to about 110 horsepower and 158 foot-pounds of torque before we start hitting the rev limiter. And this just tells us that we have to look at our intakes and our exhaust. There's a little bit of a variance that we need to look at as far as how well is this vehicle or how well is this motor going to perform in the long run. 